From the beginning, I wanted to tell stories. I wanted to get an emotional response from an audience. I wanted there to be a play on ideas, building my own worlds, but then also to have that layer of artifice sitting right on top of something very real. That's where the interesting line is. I love shooting in Los Angeles. It's like a blank canvas, and it needs artists. The city needs to be molded. People come here to find their own identity, and they can make the city into whatever they want it to be for themselves. With every tragedy, there needs to be a balance of comedy. There always needs to be that level of playfulness for it to work for me. Street photography is a huge influence in my work. For the first six months when I became a photographer, I started with you know, printing my own black and white street photographs. There's been so much work done in street photography that's been so good and at such a high level. And there was something that I felt like I couldn't really um, contribute to street photography because it was already so perfect. When I started fabricating worlds, whole worlds, and building um, props, and starting to play with scale and distorting reality more on a practical level, a tangible level, um, that all kind of started around this series, Compulsion. My work has always been about perception of reality versus reality. It's a way for me to be able to experience it and to actually have a conversation about it, to speak on any subject matter, no matter how dark, no matter how fucked up. The idea of one moment captured that just has all of these layers to it. You know, all of these things are still really important to me, and if, it's, if, if I can capture it in a fictional story for a film, or if I can capture it as one image, it's still really interesting to me. But I have to check myself to make sure I don't start repeating myself with, with photography now that I've got film as a medium. Growing up in Los Angeles, I could have chosen to be a filmmaker at any point, I guess. But it was kind of by accident. I was getting a little bit disinterested in photography already. And then in 2008, I went to London and showed this series called The Big Valley. And people were coming up to me asking me what was happening in, with the girl in the photo. What happened to her just before? What happened just after? And so people were kind of asking for a narrative. And so that's what led me to shooting my first short film, Despair. I shot it with um, Bryce Dallas Howard. And I approached it in that exact way. I, I had an emotion in mind. A, a, a one moment in mind that happens in the very middle of the film and um, I show in this kind of surreal playful way uh, what happens before and after that frame and when I finished despair I came back to photography totally reinvigorated I did La Grande Sortie, we were seeing through the dancers' eyes on stage. The crowd can be a sea of anonymous faces that are out to get you, or they can be individuals that have interesting lives and different experiential tracks. I think the whole point of film is emotion. Emotion has always been the through line for my work, and it's always the most important thing for me. If there's no emotional impact when I watch something that I've shot or looking at a picture that I've made, if I don't feel some kind of emotion from it, then for me it's not really worth going out into the world.